Donald J. Trump, the 45th president, is certainly a well-known figure. Even before he became president, the real estate and business tycoon was a household name, and he still continues to spark debates today. In the 21st century, Donald Trump has emerged as one of the most polarizing figures, if not the most polarizing, and it's rare these days to encounter someone without a decidedly strong opinion about him, whether in support or opposition. However, Politics can be a never-ending topic, so today we've decided to put politics aside and look at Trump himself, or at least what he eats. While the menu of Trump's favorite foods might not be the most presidential, it sure is interesting. Take a look at what the president eats in a day. The 2016 election revealed Trump's love for McDonald's. As he stepped into the limelight even more prominently in 2016 during the early stages of his presidential campaign, Donald Trump sat down with CNN to share some insights into his eating habits. It turns out that the former president has a soft spot for fast food, especially the offerings from McDonald's. He expressed his fondness for classics like Big Macs, filet o fish and Quarter Pounders with cheese. Additionally, he admitted to occasionally indulging in KFC chicken. What's intriguing about his fast food preference is that he cited the strict sanitation standards of these chains as a key factor in his enjoyment, stating, I think you're better off going there than maybe someplace that you have no idea where the food is coming from. Fast forward to the time at the White House, and not much has changed in the realm of Donald Trump's dietary choices. Despite Melania Trump's commitment to maintaining the White House Vegetable Garden initiated by Michelle Obama in 2009, it appears that the garden's produce doesn't often grace the former president's plate. Instead, fast food remains a consistent fixture. Brace yourself, because the list is quite extensive. Now, it's no major revelation that this emblem of the corporate world is quite partial to the corporate giants of the food industry. McDonald's holds a special place in Trump's heart. During a press conference in the early days of 2016, Trump participated in a rapid-fire question-and-answer session. It was here that he disclosed his favorite McDonald's menu item as the Fish Delight. However, some eagle-eyed individuals might notice that there's no such thing as the Fish Delight on McDonald's menu. One might even speculate that fish delight sounds like a creation of someone who's had plenty of fast food in their life, but has never had to personally navigate a menu at a fast food joint. In reality, what he likely meant was the filet o fish, a classic McDonald's offering. Donald Trump is a big fan of KFC. As the famous saying goes, where McDonald's leads, KFC shall follow. And this adage holds particularly true when it comes to the list of the former president's favorite foods. In the midst of the considerably less tumultuous mid-2016, Donald Trump took to Twitter to share a snapshot of himself on his private jet, engaging in a veritable feast of KFC. One might wonder if he'd derive even greater satisfaction from trying his hand at a copycat KFC chicken recipe. A closer look at this momentous meal reveals some intriguing details. Firstly, it's worth noting that Trump's choice was the $20 fill-up bucket, a sizable offering designed to satiate a small group of diners, although, in fairness, he might have entertained the idea of sharing after the photo op. Secondly, his use of stainless steel cutlery, a knife, fork, and spoon, raised eyebrows, considering his meal of choice. Moreover, his selection of reading material while enjoying his delectable fried chicken on the go included the Wall Street Journal and a copy of a letter sent by Senate Democrats to President Obama, urging the acceptance of more Syrian refugees into the United States. It seems that Trump was intent on staying informed while indulging in his preferred comfort food, creating a fascinating juxtaposition between his culinary tastes and his engagement with current affairs. Trump likes his steak well done. Yes, it's true. The 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump, has a peculiar preference when it comes to his steaks. He likes them burnt to a crisp. Ordering a well-done steak may raise some eyebrows among culinary enthusiasts.
as it's often considered a culinary insult to the quality of the meat itself. Anthony Senecal, Trump's longtime butler, once disclosed that the steaks would be cooked to such a degree of doneness that they would rock on the plate. While personal steak preferences vary widely, opting for a well-done steak can have potential drawbacks. Studies have suggested that consuming overcooked meat may contribute to memory problems in later life and increase the risk of prostate cancer. Beyond health considerations, the tragedy of a well-done steak lies in the fact that it tends to render the meat tough and devoid of the rich, juicy flavors that can be savored in rarer preparations. It's often regarded as a culinary disappointment, as it essentially amounts to a waste of good meat. Trump wants you to know he loves taco bowls. During the election campaign, Donald Trump made a memorable attempt to connect with the Hispanic vote on Cinco de Mayo. He did so by sharing a tweet featuring a photo of himself at Trump Tower in New York City, happily indulging in a taco bowl. In this tweet, he not only showcased his culinary choice, but also took the opportunity to give a plug to Trump Tower's restaurant while exclaiming, I love Hispanics. As with many of his tweets, this one also stirred some interest. Business Insider, not one to pass up a taste test challenge, decided to send a food reporter to Trump Grill to sample the now-famous taco bowl for themselves. Presaid at 18, this dish offered a descent, warm crunch to its tacos, but it fell short in various other aspects. The guacamole lacquered flavor, the beef was under-seasoned, and the cheese was nothing more than pre-shredded cheddar. Business Insider's verdict was that the president's take on the classic Tex-Mex dish ranged from passable at best to mediocre at worst. Despite the less-than-glowing review, Trump's tweet at least confirmed his personal endorsement of the taco bowl. However, it's worth noting that paying $18 for a taco bowl, especially when you can easily make a delicious taco salad at home, might be considered a bit on the pricey side by many. The former president has simple tastes, but not healthy ones. A closer look at eyewitness accounts of Donald Trump's eating habits over the years reveals that the 45th president had rather simple tastes when it came to food. According to Business Insider, Trump once mentioned that he would typically skip breakfast. But when he did opt for a morning meal, it usually consisted of either a hearty combination of eggs and bacon, with the bacon cooked to medium and the eggs over well, or a bowl of classic American cereal like Raisin Bran. Lunch was also kept fairly minimal, with Trump mentioning that he often ate at his desk. However, one of his preferred midday options was a meatloaf sandwich. In contrast, dinner was the meal where Trump tended to indulge more. It's no surprise that he had an appreciation for a well-cooked steak, provided it was prepared to his exact specifications. An interesting dining choice was on display when Trump and the First Lady hosted Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, at the White House in 2019. The menu seemed to cater more to the president's tastes than those of the royal guests, featuring filet of beef, pomes anna, a buttery potato dish, and vanilla ice cream. He doesn't drink alcohol. It might come as a bit of a surprise, but Donald Trump is a teetotaler. He claims he's never had a drink, and he attributes this decision to the tragic death of his older brother, Fred Trump, who succumbed to alcoholism at the age of 41. This commitment to abstinence allegedly persisted even during his rise in the competitive world of New York real estate. However, there have been moments that cast doubt on this teetotaling image. For instance, The Telegraph once reported a story suggesting that Trump may have deviated from his rule during a 2017 meeting at the UN. Upon closer examination, some political analysts believed that the reddish liquid in his glass was, in fact, wine. So, perhaps he refrains from alcohol most of the time, but it's not entirely clear. Donald Trump likes Burger King. Yes, we're back to talking about fast food. Just when you thought we were done. Here's another twist in Donald Trump's culinary preferences. Not content with McDonald's and KFC, it appears that Trump occasionally ventures into Burger King territory. 
After delivering a speech in Florida during the election campaign, Trump and his team decided to celebrate by sending his driver to the drive-thru to pick up some Burger King for the group. In a subsequent interview, Trump explained that he chose fast food because it was a quick option, which is quite understandable. Interestingly, it seems Trump's affection for Burger King is not unrequited. Shortly after the election, Burger King Russia paid tribute to the newly elected president of the United States by unveiling a Trump-themed burger. Essentially, it was their angriest Whopper meal, but supersized in honor of Trump. There's no confirmation if Trump ever got to taste it, but it's safe to say they would have whipped one up for him if he happened to be in the neighborhood. Trump eats a lot of pizza, but not how you think. Ah, pizza. Who can resist its cheesy, savory allure? It's the quintessential comfort food. Loved by people from all walks of life, including the one and only Donald Trump. Now, you might find it a tad unusual that Trump has a unique way of enjoying his pizza. He's known to scrape off and eat the toppings while leaving behind the dough. Some might say it's a bit unconventional, but in an era where carbs often get a bad rap, it's not all that surprising. However, when you consider his fondness for fried chicken and hamburgers, complete with buns, one has to wonder if it's really about watching his carb intake or if he just has a thing for sauce and cheese. In a quick-fire interview with U.S. Magazine, Trump also shared some of his other food preferences. He's a fan of cherry and vanilla ice cream, enjoys watching Citizen Kane, and, of course, loves his hamburgers. But let's be honest, we all knew about his love for burgers, didn't we? Donald Trump loves meatloaf sandwiches. Now, let's take a step towards the more conventional side of Donald Trump's culinary preferences, where we find the humble meatloaf sandwich. Long before he set his sights on the presidency, Trump made a memorable appearance on television alongside Martha Stewart, clad in a cook's apron over his suit, and his wife Melania. Their mission? To create one of Trump's all-time favorite foods. Of course, we braved the video so you wouldn't have to. Here's the scoop. In a three-minute segment that felt more like a promotional opportunity, possibly for his show The Apprentice, Trump skillfully assembles a meatloaf sandwich that, to his credit, or perhaps Stewart's, looks quite appetizing. Whether it was all just part of a promotional act or not, it's evident that Trump has a genuine fondness for meatloaf. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie revealed that Trump was quite insistent on him trying the dish during his visits to the White House. As any meatloaf enthusiast knows, the key to a perfect meatloaf sandwich is, well, a fantastic meatloaf. Luckily, whipping up a meatloaf that rivals the one at Cracker Barrel is well within reach. Donald Trump loves Diet Coke. So, if you're wondering what Donald Trump washes down all that fast food with when he's not indulging in beer or wine, it's not exactly a health-conscious choice. The former president is known to consume at least a dozen Diet Cokes every single day. While many Americans already struggle with excessive consumption of sugary beverages, downing a dozen sodas daily, even if they're of the Diet variety, takes it to another level. Dr. Darius Mozaferian, the DN of the Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy at Tufts University, charred with time that the caffeine alone from this soda habit could lead to various health issues for Trump. These may include a heightened heart rate, difficulties with sleep, and even migraines. Moreover, the health risks associated with diet soda extend beyond caffeine-related problems, potentially including weight gain, an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, and a higher likelihood of suffering a stroke. Of course, he does enjoy fine dining. While Donald Trump is often associated with fast food and familiar dishes, he does occasionally venture out to dine at fancy restaurants. These outings, however, tend to have a political or social purpose rather than being purely personal. For instance, in 2016, the Washington Examiner reported an anecdote shared by former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. During a dinner at one of Trump's New York hotels, Trump ordered for Christie and himself. He even brought out the chef and asked about his own previous order, opting to have the exact same meal again. 
This incident reflects Trump's penchant for sticking to what he knows and likes when it comes to food and dining locations. In general, it appears that Donald Trump may not be the most adventurous diner in terms of culinary exploration, preferring to stick with familiar choices. Donald Trump loves to snack. Considering the significant role junk food plays in Donald Trump's diet, it's hardly surprising that he is an avid snacker, and very few snacks are off-limits for him. According to a book written by Trump's former campaign manager, Corey Lewandowski, Air Force One is consistently stocked with a variety of snacks, including Vienna Fingers, potato chips, pretzels, and many packages of Oreos. This emphasis on snacking underscores the importance of not skipping breakfast in maintaining a balanced diet. However, it's not just about snacking for Trump. He's also known to be a germaphobe. He avoids eating from any packet that has been previously opened, which means that if he doesn't finish a particular snack packet, all the remaining contents must be discarded as he refuses to return to them. One intriguing aspect of Lewandowski's claim about Air Force One's Oreo stockpile is that Trump had previously declared in 2015, long before his presidency, that he would never eat Oreos again. He made this vow because the company had announced plans to move its production to Mexico. Trump gets extra dessert. Dessert is undoubtedly on the menu for Donald Trump, and why wouldn't it be? However, it's no surprise that the president's dessert experience isn't always the same as everyone else's. And this holds true for the rest of his meal as well. In 2017, Time magazine spent a few days shadowing Trump, observing his daily routine. During this time, the president sat down for a dinner with the magazine's reporters, and Vice President Mike Pence also joined the meal. While the menu was set, the distinctions in what Trump was actually served were quite noticeable. For instance, when everyone else was served water, Trump received a Diet Coke. When chicken was served, he was provided with an extra dish of sauce. And when dessert time arrived, featuring vanilla ice cream with chocolate cream pie, Trump enjoyed two scoops of ice cream, while the rest had just one. The sole exception was Mike Pence, who was served a fruit plate. Clearly, there are more than a few perks to being the president, including an extra helping of sweets. Officials must cater to the president's tastes. Donald Trump's culinary preferences extend to his international visits as well. During a trip to India, both the former president and first lady declined the vegetarian food offered at a high tea in their honor. While it's worth noting that the samosas served at the event contained broccoli and corn instead of the traditional potato and pea filling, it's reported that none of the guests were particularly fond of the dish. Instead, the Trump and Melania retreated to their hotel, where they enjoyed Trump's favorite treats, cherry vanilla ice cream and Diet Coke. Even at home in the White House, the chefs are accustomed to catering to Trump's specific tastes. A Time reporter who followed Trump's daily routine noted that during dinner, he was the only one served something other than water to drink, his beverage of choice being Diet Coke. Additionally, his salad came with a different dressing. His chicken dish received an extra serving of sauce, and for dessert, he was treated to two scoops of ice cream instead of the customary one, particularly when the dessert featured chocolate cream pie. Former President Trump definitely doesn't eat these things. When it comes to Donald Trump's culinary preferences, it's not just about the foods he enjoys. There are also quite a few things he strongly dislikes. Let's start with sushi, the classic Japanese delicacy. Sushi might be an acquired taste for many, but it's safe to say that Donald Trump didn't acquire it. During a trip to Japan in 1990, the future president made it clear that he had no intention of eating fucking raw fish. Instead, he opted for a trusty McDonald's hamburger, as recounted in the book Lost Tycoon, The Many Lives of Donald J. Trump. Next on the list are vegetables. While it's already evident that greens aren't a prominent part of Trump's diet, his aversion to vegetables seems to run deep. He once personally delivered a letter to New York's mayor, urging action against food vendors he felt had overrun Fifth Avenue. 
Of particular concern to Trump was the humongous vegetable stand operating at 5th Avenue and 57th Street. And then there's the matter of pickles. Trump prefers to leave them off his burgers. But hey, that's perhaps a more understandable preference, right? Donald Trump believes in fast food for all. Donald Trump's affinity for fast food doesn't stop with his personal consumption. He has also made it a point to share this culinary preference with others. One of the most memorable moments during his presidency occurred in January 2019, when he hosted a football team at the White House and served an entire banquet of fast food. Due to a government shutdown at the time, the White House resident staff was furloughed and unable to work. As a result, Trump's team had to order a massive quantity of junk food to cater to the visiting football team. The meal included items from McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, and pizza, all funded by Trump himself. The president proudly described this buffet-style feast as patriotic and claimed it included 1,000 hamburgers, although the actual count was closer to 300. While the media mocked the banquet, some of the football players likely appreciated the fast food more than the originally planned gourmet dishes. In March 2019, even after the government shutdown had ended, Trump repeated this fast food banquet tradition by serving Big Macs and Chick-fil-A sandwiches to another visiting football team from North Dakota. Donald Trump's culinary choices may not be as diverse as one might expect for a man of his stature, but they certainly offer an intriguing glimpse into his personal tastes. From fast food feasts to well-done steaks and an affinity for Diet Coke, his food preferences reflect a unique aspect of his personality. Now, we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Donald Trump's eating habits? Are there any surprising food preferences you share with the former president? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this insight into Trump's typical menu, don't forget to like this article and subscribe for more intriguing content on various topics. See you next time.